right, Billy Ray, we have a gentleman standing here at Golf Fest. His name is Craig Hocknall. Good morning, Craig. Yeah, g'day, fellas. How's it going? How are you, sir? I'm um, very well, thanks. Did you say g'day, fellas? I said g'day, g'day fellas. Hi. Is that Down like... under style. Right. Oh, really? That's right, mate. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the Aussie flag on the golf bag there. I didn't see the Aussie right, flag. Very, very nice. I actually thought you, you were go. just making that accent up. No, nah, mate. Oh, nah, mate. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you got my Crocs in the golf bag as well. See? Oh, that's nice. cute. So, uh, so Craig, you're a trick shot golf guy. Yeah, trick shot artist. A trick shot prefer artist. To be called. Got, artist. Please, hey, listen, I don't want to mess golf, with anybody's yeah. art. I golf don't. entertainer. Yeah. That's right. And do you start out as like a guy who wants to be a pro player, and then all of a sudden maybe it doesn't work, and then you go, you know what, what else can I do? Yeah, actually, my, my story's interesting. I actually started doing the trick shot shows to actually fund my tournament competitive play. That's what I'm actually doing right now. I do professional trick shot shows all around the country. It's called the Outback Golf Show. And at the same time, I'm trying to qualify for PGA and nationwide tour events this year. So I travel all around doing that. So it's kind of like... <laughs> it, wait a second. So the, the trick shot stuff pays... To help you play real golf. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah, not too many people can do the trick shot show, so I figured I had a little niche market and it could bring in some income and help me uh, parlay that into maybe a million dollars in a PGA Tour event one day. That's, how do you nice. how do you learn to be a trick shot guy? Well, you know, when you're when you're growing up in the outback of Australia and you're a little little tacker, little fella, and uh, you maybe got a club maybe this size, about 12 inch six iron that I actually use in my show. And uh, you're juggling golf balls, bouncing them off your knees, play a little soccer, bounce them off your head, and it hurts a little bit. Yeah, it sounds like it might hurt. <laughs> but uh, you just kind of pick things up. And, you know, growing up, obviously, very blessed with some pretty good hand-eye coordination. So, uh, you know, sports fans that appreciate me hitting a golf shot with a baseball on the end of a stick. I've got this little one right here that is my first original club. Built it out of my dad's work shed. Oh, hilarious. The so there's a hammer head on the end of a golf club shaft. Like a, yeah. That's right. You see the surface area is not too big, so you, you know, I hit that about 250 yards, mostly straight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one here that's to be hit off the knees when you're in those tricky outback situations where you've got the ball up underneath a tree and you need to take a full swing at it. I've got a, I've got a fade shaft and I've oh. got a... Got a drawer shaft in here as well. I got this little mini club and all kinds of stuff. You just kind of pick it up as you go along. But I put together a pretty entertaining show with some jokes and growing up, and talking about growing up in the outback of Australia. And so uh, how do you? So so you? How old a guy are you? I'm 35. All right. And so it's like I want to be a pro golfer. Yep. But I'm I'm not. I haven't qualified yet. Right. And I can do trick shots. But beyond being able to do the trick shots, you, you kind of got to also be able to entertain the people, right? Uh, yeah, that's exactly right. In fact, the first show I ever did was just really a bunch of ball hitting. And I had a bunch of trick clubs, and I'd throw them up out of the air, hit them between my legs, spit balls out of my mouth, and hit them. <laughs> and then I, nobody was saying... Nobody was saying anything. I'd Did you say you spit <laughs> balls, balls out of your, your mouth, mouth and I hit them? Spit balls out of my mouth. <laughs> Let me just clear <laughs> this up. You put balls, balls. in your mouth. <laughs> I've only got a mouth big enough for one ball. But okay. <laughs> gotcha. I put one ball. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you would take the ball yep. that was in your mouth yes. and spit it yes. and then hit it. That's right. you got to make sure it's clean. It's you called the it. spit and hit. It's got, yes. It's spit it up. Hit right. it out of the air. <laughs> okay. All right. So anyway. Do you still do that trick? I do. I do I'd that like trick. I'd like to see that myself. I do that. Of course you would. Yeah. So, you know, for me, it's always been about just you either run out of time, talent, or money. And I figure I've got talent and I've got time, and it was just trying to put all the money together. So I've actually got some investors and sponsors for the next few years, but I've been definitely applying my trick shot shows to how I play in uh, tournaments as well. And as far as the, the legal number of clubs that you can carry, this, you're a little over the limit. <laughs> a little here, over the quite limit. Quite frankly. Yes, yeah, I've got ma many more clubs, uh, many more tricks than you're allowed to have in a regular game of golf. Mm -hmm. How do you have time to work the craft of trick shots? I mean, you've got to constantly, I'm guessing, kind of keep sharp, but also have time to work your game. Well, you know, it's funny enough, you know, if I, I put on about a 45-minute show and I can make it 30 minutes, I can make it an hour. But uh, the deal is with the trick shots, many people ask me, and really if, it, if, I can, if I've got it in the show, I, I did it first time. It's kind of funny, you know, throw a ball in the air and hit it 250 yards with a driver. 
uh, I do that regularly in the show, and that's I can do that one off. So I actually don't have to practice a trick shot show. I do enough of them. Can uh, you hit a ball further in a trick shot show? Or is your average drive longer when you're playing regular golf? No, average drive's longer. Um, you know, you throw a ball out of the air and hit it, goes about 250 yards. My average drive's 290. So I definitely hit it better with two, two feet on the ground. Gotcha. But, but the whole idea is, I mean, if you can hit a golf ball and, and do it solidly with some goofy club that has the head of a hammer yeah. instead of a, a golf club head, my goodness, out on a regular golf course with a regular club, you can you can paste it. No, you can I, hit it straight, and you, you should be able to do anything with a regular right, golf Right. In other words, exactly. we're a little disappointed. I mean, you can hear it in our voices. I mean, if you can do all that stuff with golf clubs, right. I mean, you should be able to kill Tiger Woods. Yes. That's right. I'm working on it. I played, you know, I played college golf and uh, turned pro, and, uh, you know, I got a little wrist injury, run out of money, you know, the whole la di da story. But now it's all coming back about 10 years after I started, and I'm looking forward to getting out playing full time now. All right, what can you do for us here this morning? I mean, I know we're kind of in the, in the parking lot here. We, if, we have, if we take the headset off and we take the, uh, the microphone off, we'll have Pratty come around with a, with a mic. Maybe, okay. what, what kind of trick shots could you show us right here in the parking lot? All right, well. I hey, I would suggest somebody move that car. <laughs> Otherwise, Craig here is going to uh, probably. I bet you. I'll, I'll tell you what. I bet you he can take a, a golf ball, spit it out of his mouth, and hit it right in the back of that Range Rover through Where's the back Monica? window. Monica, window. do we have any range balls? You, do, do you need range balls, balls or can yeah, we give I've you got, some of ours? We got brand new ones. Well, give me oh, one. Sorry. That way we don't have to waste time. Yeah. Because that whole mouth thing oh, yeah, sounds kind of funny. We, all right, yeah. I'll paste one of these beautiful Callaway. These are Callaway Diablo, Diablo. golf balls, and you'll see the logo on there. Here, you'll right. see the, uh, we got the logo of our foundation, the Great Friends Foundation. And, uh, all right, here's Craig Hocknall. He is a an Australian trick shot artist. A what? An artist? An artist. Did you say artist? I said artist. That's right. it. And Pratty has now taken the microphone over to the middle of the parking lot. Now, Craig, what are we, what are we doing here? All right, mate. So I don't have much room. I've got people standing around eating burritos. i got a guy down in the driving range I hope I don't take out with a shot. Well, let's go ahead and give him a shot out. We'll get, let get him that know. guy Four. out of the way. We'll let him know. Four. Get rifle one right over his head. <laughs> Some dude is running. To the driving range to let him know, dude, you might get. He could be. Get nailed. Put your hands up, mate. I'll shoot it right through like field goal. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I, I did talk about the spitball shot, so I'm going to spit this beautiful Callaway golf ball that is nice and clean right out of the box, out of my mouth. and uh, rip From the box. From the box. To your mouth. From your mouth. To the club. To, directly to the club uh, with the sun in my eyes and a uh, very cold first swing of the day. So right. give it All right. a first swing, not even, not even a warm-up. So awesome. Regardless, whether I hit this or not, you guys have got to cheer for me. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right, we've got a whole crew of people here, so let's all make sure we give Craig... Look at this. He's going to spit it right out of his mouth. He's got it in his mouth. <laughs> He's taking a regular swing. <laughs> He's going to spit the Scott and the R golf ball. He's going to... Oh, 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 hold on, young lady. Be careful. Yeah, she, girl just went and picked up his sunglasses. He's going to spit... Oh, oh, he missed. Strike one. That's, okay. That's all right. Oh, he spit the... Well, hold on. That's let me give okay. you... He spit... Let us... Let us Get another chance. No, it, no, no. It's kind of like the guys with a curling bit on SNL. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he spit the ball from his mouth, and he, and he swung at it, but he missed. Here we go. Here we go. Here's Pratt. He's going close to him to hear the sound. Oh, he wow. spit the ball and smashed it. Yes. Oh, oh, beautiful, Craig. Nice, job. nice work. Nice. Nice job. job. Wow. Spit the ball. I don't. I'd like to try that. Go ahead. I would like to try it. All right. Let me try that. Let me try that. First of all, give him a ball. This will be pretty funny. Scotty. And, and boy, you got to take. Don't you have to take the coat off? Because you got about five layers on. Right-handed, left-handed. Very nice. Oh, he's right-handed. Give him a golf ball. I think I can do this. Oh, sure you can. I don't know if I'm comfortable with the ball in my mouth. Boy, <laughs> quite frankly. It's like a gag ball. Um, you know what that is? And I, no, you, I'm sure you can tell me all about it. I'm sure you've done it before. Have you seen Pulp Fiction? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, I have. Yes, you so have. you know the scene you where uh, Marcellus Wallace gets kidnapped by those two guys, and then they, they have the gag ball? And yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Okay. Yeah. So you know what it is. <laughs> um, all right, so am I supposed to hold it with my teeth, or am I supposed to, like, I don't want to swallow it? No, you got to get some velocity, so how yeah. you would spit it out of your mouth. You have to, yeah, Scotty, you have to have your lips around it. you got to get... 
Got to get good suction. And What's so funny? I'm just sure telling them. Make sure you go ahead and project it out far enough because it's hard to hit. With. Everybody, right, step, away. Right. step away. Step away. Right. Step right. away. I'm balling my mouth. Buddy, you never sounded better. I'm balling my mouth. I'm ready to fly out. Never right. sounded better. Let's do the play by play, Billy Ray. Yeah, step way back. Everybody get back. We don't want anybody injured. Here it comes. We have Scotty Kaplan. Supposed to have, is it supposed to be a one bounce deal, or are you supposed to hit it? No, and no, no. Spit it and hit it. Directly. From your mouth to the face of the club. Take a nice little warm up swing. Scott Kaplan now. You're looking good. The swing looks great. Looks very nice. Here he goes. Oh, that was awful. Man. That was terrible. That was utter failure. Strike one. Okay, you're getting you're getting uh all right, he's getting his complete at bat. Get back Scott here. I think Scott just wants to put the ball back in his mouth. A couple of more times. Sure. He's ready to go. Here it comes. And strike two. Oh, I don't Pratty, even touch please. Pratty runs it. after the ball oh, like, oh, my goodness. I, I thought twice about touching it. You know I mean? No, it was you didn't. In his mouth. You That's that a bad. lot of projectiles. Okay, spin. here we go. We have two strikes. Scotty Kaplan. <laughs> Craig, Craig. I, I almost had that one. Yeah, Craig, it was not, not bad. You would have caught it about halfway up tell the shaft. Him, tell him what he's doing wrong, Craig. Give him a little coaching right. here so he can get this done. So when you spit the ball that time, it, you almost hit your shaft. Right. You're so what you've got to do is you got to spit it. You got to spit it. I don't want you to. I don't want you to break my shaft with that ball. Don't hit it on the shaft. Hit it right on the head. So you got to spit it out a lot further. Get a lot more velocity. Pucker up those lips. Pace. You got to get. It's all about. It's all about quick hand-eye coordination. So you got to spit it out a good about five, six feet in front of you, and then try to catch it. Scotty, what he's trying to say is if you could spit the ball out of your mouth as long as your shaft is, That's then right. you'd have a better chance yes. to hit the ball. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we can do. Don't hit the concrete. Oh, oh that was <laughs> awful. Come on. Kaplan goes down swinging. Are you oh, getting, again, strike four. Getting better. There you go. Oh, hang on. Four. Hold it. Hi, <laughs> sir. Come on, sir. Would you get out of the way? This is golf history right here. Get out of the way. There's security when you need him. Oh, oh, that was much better. That was pretty good, night. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> now I'm going to get it. Craig, fantastic. All right, thank you very much. Right, now, it's you know, that's a, a, lot, a lot harder than you think. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm just having a couple of balls in my mouth, you know. <laughs> now I'm trying Dave. to sound like you are. Know, <laughs> Now this one here is pretty sweet, too. It's, it's a steel it. ball. It's about the size of a golf ball. Yeah, I hit okay. that. It's part of a training aid. I actually can hit that about 200 yards as well, pretty straight. So. All right, so, Craig, let me ask you something. When will, yeah. when will people see your act this weekend here at Golf Fest? Yeah, Golf Fest is going on uh, 10 to 6 today, Friday, and then it's also uh, 9 to 5 Saturday and Sunday, and I'm going to be out at 2 o'clock today and 11 o'clock on Saturday and Sunday and come and check out the show. It's going to be awesome. 2 o'clock today, 11 o'clock Saturday and Sunday. That's right. Can I just say that the show has already been awesome? <laughs> Thank you very much. Billy Ray just like to see me. <laughs> <laughs> I look like an idiot. I'm like, what? What, what am I supposed to do? No, no, no. No, you did not look like yeah. an idiot. You looked like yeah. a true athlete. You really did. Boy, that was... Made uh, a good rip at it. it yes, good. exactly right. The first one was embarrassing. <laughs> After that, it, I, I believe I could do that. I don't know what I would do if I ever learned how to do it. Except maybe I'd go on the road with Craig That's here. Right. Well, there you go. You know, I'd That's MC right. his yeah, show. Trick shot apprentice. Yes, yeah. apprentice. <laughs> All right, Billy Ray. Craig, great to talk to you. Thank you very much. 6.40 in the morning. We're live at Golf Fest. Don't go anywhere. More excitement like you just heard on oh, the Scott and BR show. Double X 1090. I had a great time interviewing Craig and hearing stories about how he grew up in the outback of Australia. You know, you can hire Craig to come and entertain you and your friends, any corporate events you have, charity outings, or even member guests. Check out Craig's website, outbackgolfshow.com. You can send him a note, and I'm sure he'll reply. He'd love to come out and entertain you. Thanks for joining us on Pure Vision Golf.